I'm Karen Iba and welcome back to Halo Halo, your one stop for all things entertainment and lifestyle and community news for Asian Pacific Americans. Back in the studio is Tito Al Garcia. He is the project coordinator for People's Core and he has news on a new initiative that they've been working on, a smoke-free initiative. And also, just in time for Filipino Independence Day, there's a parade happening in Filipino town. So, Tito Al, take it away. <laughs> Welcome. Good afternoon to everybody. Yes. I'm uh, Artur Garcia, uh -huh. and known uh, also as Tito Al from the P People's Community Organization for Reform and Empowerment. Yes, thank you so much for coming back. It's been a while, and you as well as the group, People's Corps, have been really busy. And I want to talk about the smoke-free organization or initiative that you guys have been working on. People's Corps has been working uh -huh. on the smoke-free apartments project for the last nine years. Wow. And we have uh, reached at least more than 60 apartments mm -hmm. with this time who has adopted a voluntary policy right. to stop, uh, the, stop smoking in the apartment, meaning the spread of secondhand smoke inside mm -hmm. the apartment yes. that affects children and tenants alike. Right. How did this initiative come about? What was the initial reason for creating this initiative? This has been a main demand of yeah. tenants, uh -huh. especially families who have children, mm -hmm. because secondhand smoke seeps in yes. to the ventilation and uh -huh. to the rooms of other tenants who that that smoke and mm -hmm. causes sec, uh, bad effects of the secondhand smoke. Yeah. And we know that cigarettes have more than 7,000 chemicals yeah. and it affects really children and the mm -hmm. old alike. Yes. So we have cases that uh, an old woman, a Filipina, mm -hmm. uh, was in, uh, became uh, saddled with uh, uh, cancer right. of the lungs because of this smoking. And she doesn't even smoke, it's all through yeah, secondhand it, smoke. It's secondhand smoke because mm -hmm. no matter what you say, smoke is invisible, it right. seeps in through the ventilation uh -huh. of apartments, uh -huh. especially when the smoking is from down, from down under, uh, from up or down under yeah. because it seeps up and down. Mm -hmm. As I live in an apartment and I once lived in an inside apartment, so it was like a hotel and you could smell every single thing especially smoke, and that always bothered me. So how do apartments get involved? Uh, the good thing is uh -huh. that the state has, uh, oh, okay. has uh, implemented the law that mm -hmm. gives uh, the owners and the managers mm -hmm. the right to mm -hmm. tell the tenants that you, you can sign right. a list of no smoking. So if there are smokers, they will not be admitted into the apartment. Oh, so you can do that. You can, you can, you can, you can kind uh, of discriminate can, from it, smokers. It is not discrimination, <laughs> no, but no. It, it is really a, a matter of uh, public health. Right, right. Not only does it help with health, but also with owners less um, fires. Yes. Also maintenance on mm. the building. So I don't see why owners or landlords would have a problem with this. That's why we have uh, we have achieved an overwhelming support mm -hmm. from the tenants, mm -hmm. managers, mm -hmm. and the owners, because it it uh, makes the apartment not only safe but yeah. very healthy. Right now, if for me, I'm a tenant, can I request or demand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In one of the apartments, uh -huh. what the tenants did is they segregated the smokers. Okay. They gave they gave <laughs> gave him a a, a, a room at the end so right. you will not be uh, affecting the others okay uh, but the good thing is that the the owner and the manager can we do not say discriminate but yeah. we, they can choose choose <laughs> the the least the mm -hmm. the one who will rent right if it is a smoker then he's not available he <laughs> must go to to apartment there is uh, where they allow smokers. where smokers are yeah. allowed now for more info on this initiative where can we go uh, you can go to the People's Core website uh -huh. and also to those who do not, uh, who want to stop smoking, we yeah. also have a program for, for people who want to smoke. There is 1-800-NO-BATS. Uh, uh, yes, that's yeah. the California Smokers Hotline, yeah, right? Yeah, the uh, California Smokers Hotline. They'll even do um, telephone counseling, I heard, and yeah. they'll send you materials to help mm. smoke, stop smoking. Uh, yeah. Remember, 1-800-NO-BATS. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Tito Al. Now, switching gears, there's a huge event happening this Saturday, the parade in Filipino Town, and it's the third annual one. Right? Yeah, the third historic Filipino Town parade. 
Uh, this is very important because there is only one historic Filipino town in the whole of the United States. Uh -huh. And it is in uh, Los Angeles. Yes. There are 40,000 Filipino American right. residents uh, right. or living there. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, we will show the yes. Filipino pride. <laughs> no. We will march and parade around the town oh, and yes. we will paint it red. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there will be di different parades. Uh -huh. I think in June 7, there's a parade in New York. Right. There is also in San Francisco. Anywhere where there is a, a Filipino cities where there are Filipinos, we will right. celebrate the 117th uh, Independence, Independence Day from Day. The Spain mm -hmm. because we should be proud of it because the Philippines is the first republic in Asia and uh, we defeated the Spaniards during yes. those times. Yes, and for more info, it's all free to be a part of the parade. Yeah. Where, where do we meet? <laughs> uh, the parade will start, we'll assemble at 8 o'clock in mm -hmm. front of PACLA uh -huh. and the Silver Lake Medical Center mm -hmm. at Temple Street. And we will go around, from there, we will go around the historic Filipino town. Mm -hmm. And the parade will start at 9 o'clock and there will be an after parade and community program. So if you want to have boots uh, or display your wares, mm -hmm. please uh, come at the third historic Filipino town parade and community fair. Yes. On June 6th. To June 6 from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the evening. Yes, and all the information is on the screen. There's going to be wonderful guests as part of the parade, including the Lakambini ng Kalayan, <laughs> which much. we have more information on after the break. But thank you so much, Tito Al, again for being here today. Maraming salamat po. <laughs> Sumama kayo sa parada. Yes. <laughs> Again, for more information on the Smoke Free Initiative from People's Corps, make sure to head to the website that's on your screen. And don't miss the parade happening this Saturday. All the information is up on the screen. Don't go anywhere because we, we talk about the Lakambini ng Kalayaan event that's happening on Friday and how you can see the winner of the event on Saturday at the parade all after the break.